So you cannot just go and say, okay, oh, I'm a, I'm a percussionist. Just teach me the drumming. Drumming? No, you cannot separate the drumming from the dance because you are used to the downbeat. The downbeat. Or well, the downbeat is in the dance. So, can you all do this? Go. I want somebody to count. You should have to count one, two, three, four. Okay. Who wants to do that? To that pattern. Who wants to count the one, two, three, fours? We can that. No matching by not. Who wants to count? Yes. Who wants to count? Yes. I'm saying, come, come. Okay. Yeah, you see that? I'm, I'm singing, Lauren. I'm going to be by your right hand side and put my left arm around your neck. What's the meaning of that song? Literally, what's the meaning? Friendship. Ooh, that's a wedding vow. <laughs> I don't want to Yay, Lorraine! <laughs> I don't want to mention love. People say, oh, yeah, no. I'm just saying, I'll be by your side, put my love arm around your neck. <laughs> to the people, I'm saying, I'll be there for you, I'll die for you. So that's the meaning of the song. So, mo thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, most of the songs, Af most of the African songs, they are very philosophical, they are very deep. So I try to analyze the, the real meaning or the cultural meaning of all these songs. African, you know, you see African lady, hey, how are you? Can we go out? She will say no. <laughs> oh boy, I will go and reload, I'm coming back. <laughs> the first no is not a no. Because she wants to make sure that she does all her investigations. I will reload and go. Can we go out? Oh boy. <laughs> but it, it, it is culture. The first no, he said no, you come back again. 911. <laughs> Hara sexual harassment. <laughs> okay. So to be able to teach these dances. I have activities for appreciation or listening, drumming, singing, movement, storytelling, games, social studies, visual art, drama. In other words, you can use a dance, one of these performances, and teach what? Drumming, singing, dance, storytelling, games, social studies, visual, drama, almost all those things. Because uh, with all these discussions in the book, I'm hoping the educator, the historian, anthropologist, 
all those who have a better way of what? talking about African arts. You cannot just separate all these art forms. But the most important thing for me is the DVD. Over 18 hours of footage. 18 hours. All these dances are analyzed. So you know this is the first movement, second movement. But I cannot use movement for the dancing. Then the dancers will be confused. Music, music, they use what? First movement, second movement, third movement. When I say first movement, that's a first movement. <laughs> second movement. It will be so confusing. So I use what? Faces. Because these are ceremonies. These are rituals. You go to a Catholic church. Kyrie, Gloria, Credo. Those are the faces of what? The mass. And you have to follow the faces as you watch these dances. They have to finish the first phase in the village before they move to what? The second phase. If they don't do the second phase, they are not going to go to what? The third phase. So if you just go to capture phase number seven on a CD and telling people, oh yeah, this dance can move from Tucson and so village, you are not talking about the whole but, uh, what, event. You are just choosing maybe the one you like. So I want people to see this performances in a whole, the whole event, the whole festival, the whole art form. So that's what this project is about. And the next one is almost there, You're going to focus on religion. If you can go to a bookstore and buy a holy Bible and read about what? God, uh, Christian religion. You can get what, a hymn now? You can get a book on what? Oh, they don't have to do that for African religions too. What? Idol worship? Oh, are you kidding? I've never seen a religious person on this planet like what? Africa. Oh, they are very religious. People want to travel, they want to consult the gods. Is it going to be, are you going to have a plane crash? If not, the gods have to what? A father, okay, do this sacrifice. Women, before they go to the market, they have to do their prayers too. So that's going to be focusing on the different ways Africans worship and the importance of what? The arts. So, the dance we are going to show briefly by my Who knows how to pray this? <laughs> Bamaya <laughs> means what? The valley is wet, it's full of water. And this is the village where this dance was created. And this is the best group in Ghana today performing this dance. This group, they just came back from Denmark. They have been sponsored by the Danish government. They have a school for them. The drum is saying what? Bama Maya. The river is wet. So the drum is even talking about what? Bamaya, so gently, move slowly. It is wet, a lot of water, you can't rush. The drama is also commenting on the dance. You have to learn. Yeah. But during a festival, people will try and they try to shake you. 
When I went to the village, I was like the Buddha of the village. You know, they're all like this. I said, well, I'm so huge. Oh yes. Dress up. Oh yes. And <laughs> do they travel oh, to yes. other villages? Do you have any questions? Is a, how long you do each phase? Is that uh, depend on mood? Yes. This can go for four, five, six hours. Oh, okay. But I just told them, please perform. So they know how to work. Yeah. Time, time themselves. Yeah. Because the first movement is going to be from the house to the work, the performance venue. So maybe. They can move from the library. The venue is what? Constrict. So they'll take this first movement to travel. Did they get rain? Huh? Did they get rain? Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> and they perform in the rain. That's one thing. Oh, it's raining. Let's pack the drums. No. <laughs> Dancers are all young? Yes, uh, the audience is about 35. <laughs> now they're teaching this in the schools. They don't have the wind symphonies, the marching bands. So almost all the schools in Ghana, they have all these cultural groups, all specializing, different types of what, dances. Widespread is one particular dance. Does it move into other groups and areas and countries? And yeah, uh, right now this dance, National Dance Company of Ghana, ever in not even the North, they're performing this. It's become like a, a signature thing for them. <laughs> As I said, not in Ghana, but my country. Go to what the next, the next movement. And the beauty, you have a basic movement, but you have to make the movement your own. So if you're using rubber notation, how are you going to capture all these different variations of the same movement? It's not possible. It's just not possible. You have 40 dancers, 40 different interpretations of the same basic movement. So you cannot just, oh, this is how you do it now. I don't write, okay, make it your own. It didn't work. Is that so they're still performed by men? Yes, but you have women join them okay. because they know the men are having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the best dancer in Ghana now. That's the guy. He's, he's the best. He danced so fast. <laughs> so you see his picture in the book. <coughs> Do they have a, um, in, a, in a traditional setting, do the dancers get rewarded for all their hard work and dancing? No, no, this one, no. Yeah. But this particular group, uh, well, it's like the youth group, the Danish government is sponsoring them. So they have a whole cultural center where people go to study. And the now, most of them, they don't go to school, so this is a way of them, so they have Vocational training for them. Yeah. So this guy they are doing it because they call the love. Right, right. And, and then in some traditional dancing in other places, the, the you, they throw money to the dancers oh, yeah. like that. Do they do that? No, 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 this one because I have to pay, I pay themselves. <laughs> but during a, a, a ceremony like a festival, 
People will be giving my pretty money on their head, yes. And also I want to thank again uh, Zama because she did a lot of uh, the dance, because this is the dance person, so she will look at this, I don't have the right type of English to describe the dances in the book. And you see a lot of her, her faces in the book. She did a lot of what? Fashion show in the book. Because she knows all these dances. So it was very easy for her to demonstrate for the, for the dance movement in the book. And also we have what? Uh, so what's the name? Michael Ofori. Michael Ofori, also from Ghana, is a graduate student. You find his, most of the videos from the Akan area. He was the master drummer, and now he's here. So he's been bragging to students, hey, this is my picture in this book. <laughs> so, but the most important, I want people to go back to these villages. I've just sent some two students from Pennsylvania. They went and studied with them. So it's not like, uh oh, -uh, this is a secret thing. No. Instead of, because it's very difficult to make money from all day. So I'm sending people to the villages directly so they can make their money teaching people. So if anybody wants to come, I'll just call, hey, prepare your room. Somebody's coming to study with you. So that's the best way for people to benefit. Go there and study directly. Any questions? Perform this dance on last Saturday. If you were at the street festival, we performed it. Anytime you shoot, they say, Oh, African, African women. I said, No, they are not women, they are men. But forget about what is it, drag queen? No, no, no. no. So the history behind this, and it's very important. So did they treat the women? But now, now, now. Right after that? No, still. You know, still. They're, they're trying hard. When I go to someone, when I went to be someone, you'll be surprised. We'll be standing, they'll be talking to me, asking questions. You're supposed to be directed to her. It's still, it's still there. Men here, women here. Why is it? It's here too. It's in the US too. Yes. It's everywhere. So it's not only in Africa where the men want to be in charge. It's everywhere. But here in charge to a, diff a different love. <laughs> Seriously, music wise. Politics wise, even what the payment wise, the men are always trying to be here. Do you know why? Can somebody tell me why? Why women, men are always scared? Yeah, why men are always scared? You can tell me. There are two reasons. <laughs> women don't laugh. There are two reasons why we men are so scared. Can somebody tell me? You have two things. You can do all the things I'm able to do, but there are two things you do I cannot do. That's the reason. Who knows of those things? How about baby? That's, the, that's one. What about the second one? What about the second one? That's the most important thing. Women, you have the power. Tell me. <laughs> oh, nurse the, oh, man can nurse the baby. There's something else from the nursing. It's going to be crying, it's going to be... You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> yes, only women can use part of their body to feed another human being. <laughs> only women. Men cannot do that. <laughs> Breast milk is from your it's part of your body. Men milk around go. So, from generation to generation, <coughs> men figure out that women have more connection to what? Babies to other human beings. So they try to separate that. Ooh, women cannot do this. No, 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 no. Women be proud. You are the bosses. <laughs> you are the foundation of this universe. Why you revolt? Why? I'm telling you, why women revolt today? That will be the end. So, men here, please, what about the situation? Let's give our ladies respect. Thank you.